Joyce will be too welcome to the coffee pot. My name is Chisha Zed. Drink the coffee, it'll make you feel better. I hope you're ready for this. Shoot your shot. This video is captioned, left him at the altar and wants him back. Of course, here we're talking about a chick who literally left a man at the altar on their wedding day. And now she wants him back. Would you take her back? Don't believe me? Check it off yourself. Let's get it. All right, Patrick, the person that wants to shoot their shot with you will do so now. Hi, Patrick. um, How are you? I um, haven't talked to you in a very long time, and I know that I left you on the altar. Hey, Audrey? Yeah? Oh, my God. Wow. I, I cannot believe this is happening. I mean, I haven't talked to you in over like 10 years, 12. And um, I mean, you, you, you. 12 years. You literally broke my heart. I know. Like, I mean, how, how I was mortified. I was literally mortified. I'm standing in front of all my family and friends by myself. Staring at nobody, and I know, but it was literally, literally the most. Mo- they are kind of like in shock, you know, laughing about the situation a little bit. He needs to hang the phone up. And be like, what? What would you guys do in this situation? What a fine thing I've ever experienced in my, in my life. Yeah, I love. I'm you. sorry. I mean, like, I mean, you know, like no warning, nothing. I mean. If you were if if you were unsure of getting married to me for any reason, you I should wasn't, call me. I we wasn't. shouldn't talk about it. Carrie told me you that left. you were cheating on me. Okay, well that's not true. Um, I don't know why she would say that. I, I mean, I have I, I I don't. But even if you should have spoken to me, right? Like regardless, I mean, my heart was literally broken. I mean, I, you have long. I, I'm still not rebounded. I. I I gave you my heart on my sleeve and you ripped it and you, you teared it apart. And now my trust issue, I have trust issues now. With anyone, I, for the last 12 years, I've been, I've been trying so hard to move on. And you literally, literally destroyed me. Literally. With no call. I, I, this is the first time I'm hearing from you in 12 years. You understand? I'm, yeah. I've not spoken to you in 12 years. You just literally vanished. Okay, hold Who on. Who does that? Okay, I'm I gonna, know. I, I'm going to step in real quick here. So we knew this was going to be very complicated, and this was not going to be easy. And obviously right now, Patrick, you are hurt, and you are... Understandably so. Literally. Holly's in tears over here right now. Um... Before we continue with anything else, because obviously this isn't going to be the connection we thought it would be, you need to process your emotions. How, how, how did they think, do they, did they know that this was going to happen or? Because now it's digging everything up. Patrick, would you want us to give uh, Aubrey your number so you two can talk when you feel comfortable? No. I mean, like, she was the, my, the girl in my, <laughs> in my dreams. I mean, yeah, I mean, if she wants to like sp- talk to me, it's fine. It's just, I just, I've not spoken to her in like twelve years, and it's just, like it's so. I mean, I um, if you want, if we can definitely take you know if everything very slowly. I'm very, very pr- protective of my feelings now, and my heart. So, I mean, I you how how how. Guys, there's, there's, there's a little bit left. Yeah, you, I, I, I will, if you want, like... You don't have to answer now. You don't have to answer now. You do not have to answer now. She left you at the altar 
12 years ago, didn't say a word, has been gone for 12 years, getting her cheeks clapped, been in the streets, doing all types of things. Doing all types of things, bro. Men having their, their way with her. Getting her cheeks clapped. And then decides to come back after she's done and he takes her. Sounds like he's about to take her in. I don't know. Maybe she should be fearing for her life and this is a trap or something like that. <laughs> That's not funny at all. Dark humor. This is why you need to be caffeinated. Because this man obviously has not learned his lesson or learned to value himself. That will end horribly. One thing I also want to say, I want you to imagine if the roles were reversed and I'm talking about the genders and it was a man who left. I would bet that they wouldn't have been as understanding with her and patient with her. I don't know their show. Maybe they're just like that with everybody. But I would think if it was a, a woman, that the, the chick on the show, the host, maybe, maybe might have said something like, well, I think you owe her an apology. How dare you do that? That's not right. Why, why would you do something like that? Incredible. Let's check out some of these comments here. The people have a safe first comment here from a man it says, all this did was give bro 12 more years of therapy. The laughing emoji. Another comment here says, this is how villains are made. I, I don't know. This is how true crime documentaries are made. <laughs> A man who like that, who actually went and got therapy, would have known not to entertain a woman who's capable of that. Here's another man who says, don't do it, bro. Walk away red flags. Somebody else here says this man just got set back decades. Yep. Somebody else here says the audacity to not only leave him standing by himself on the wedding day, but to try and reconnect on a radio show for everyone to hear his pain. That is some evil shit. Another comment here says, ain't no way with the surprised emoji. Why would she do this? Here's somebody else who says he should have said no. That girl is going to use him up even more with the 100 emoji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody else here says, ain't no way in all nine realms would I even entertain this at all. You better than me. That's for sure. I don't think that's been better. It's not been very smart. Another comment here says, she has hit the wall. Leave her there. You now have the closure you needed. She knew she broke your heart. She has no excuse. Another person here says, after he realized who it was, he should have hung up. Protect your peace. And a chick here says, OMG, the heartbroken emoji. I feel for Patrick. Gosh, it's been 12 years. And our final comment here says, dude, all you got to say is no thank you. And walk away. Hang up the phone what would you do in this situation please comment down below that was insane till next time i'm out peace